Namaste everyone. Thank you for joining in this ongoing video series on learning the Lagna. And today uh, we'll be covering all about Sagittarius Lagna. Okay. Now uh, the symbolism of Sagittarius in, in Jyotish is, is a bow. Okay. It's a half man, half animal shooting a bow. And it's an image which suggests an ability to prevail over enemies. Okay. And usually a Sagittarian native will almost aim, will almost always aim very, very high. Okay. Because this is the sign of competition. All right. And this competitiveness is often displayed in the sports arena as well as in universities. That is the reason, you know, the original ninth house of Sagittarius also rules higher education. Okay. Now the Lagna Lord is Jupiter and it is not the enemy of any graha. Okay, although, you know, Jupiter is not the enemy of any Navagraha, although it does have enemies. Okay, so the natives of Sagittarius, they tend to be able to prevail over their enemies by winning them over in an active way. Because, you know, this is a very fierce, action-oriented masculine sign. And uh, this tendency is reinforced because Venus is simultaneously the lord of the sixth house of enemies as well as the eleventh house of friends. Okay. And because, you know, Venus is the enemy of Jupiter, so friends may become enemies and enemies may become friends in the life of a Sagittarius native. Okay. Now, the second house is ruled by Saturn, which is, you know, which is very blunt. So Sagittarians are often considered to be blunt speakers. Okay. Because Saturn, because the Saturn rule Capricorn sign, it occupies the second house of speech. And here, Jupiter gets debilitated. Okay, so they may get into trouble whenever it comes to speaking. Okay, now the second house of Capricorn also rules finances, which may indicate problems in controlling money because Jupiter is inappropriately generous. Okay, it is the ruler of the Lagna, which makes the native very charitable. Okay, or makes the native have a very charitable disposition. Okay, now look at Mercury. It lords both the 7th and the 10th houses and it often makes for an intellectual or mental career and it suggests the possibility of dual careers because Mercury, you know, rules both dual signs of Gemini and Virgo, okay? So Mercury is also a significator of the 10th house. It is regarded as the primary character of the 10th house along with Jupiter, right? Now look at Mars, which lords Aries, okay? It, uh, it is the fifth house of children for a Scorpion, uh, sorry, for, equi uh, for Sagittarius Ascendant. And Mars also rules Scorpio, which is the twelfth house of loss. Okay. But this is not a situation that prevents progeny because, you know, Mars will behave more like the ruler of Aries. Why? Because Aries is the Mula Tricona of Mars. Okay. And since the Mula Tricona is stronger than other constellations that a planet rules, so the fifth house indications will usually supersede those of the 12th house for a Sagittarius ascendant. Okay. Now, Sagittarians have a strong interest in spiritual matters and many factors are responsible for it. Okay. The primary factor being Sagittarius is the ninth house of the natural zodiac. And the sun, which represents the soul, is both lord and significator of the ninth house in a Sagittarius ascendant. Okay. Jupiter, which also signifies spirituality and religion, is Lagna Lord. And apart from that, the Sun and Jupiter are mutual friends. Okay. Also, in case of Sagittarius Ascendant, Jupiter lords the fourth house of happiness, which implies that Sagittarians can derive happiness from spiritual pursuits. Okay. So the ninth house, the fourth house, and the first house are connected for a Sagittarius Ascendant. Okay. So it makes the Sagittarius a very, very lucky Lagna. Primarily because the sun rules the ninth house of good fortune. And also the Lagna Lord Jupiter is exalted in the eighth house of cancer. Okay. So, you know, this exaltation of Jupiter in the eighth house, it protects against the loss of that good luck due to various past life karmas. Okay. So this is my assessment of Sagittarius Lagna. Do let me know if it resonates with you. Leave your comments in the comment section. They are, of course, very, very valuable as your feedback like the content subscribe to the channel and if you find it useful if you find uh, this video useful kindly share with your friends okay i'll see you soon in yet another video thank you everyone
Omgrupp in a maha.